am I supposed to save the world if I don't know what I'm doing? Um, mine was, um, so I, before they even started auditioning, um, or casting, I had heard that they were thinking, or like the, the live action avatar was in the works. And so I, I called my agents and I was like, Hey, if you hear anything about this at all, like this is, this is number one, this is at the top. Um, just like keep your eye out. And then, so like a year or two later, I get a call from my agent and she's like, okay, don't freak out, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we have the Avatar audition. And immediately, it was literally just about the audition and I was like on my knees, like there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I start the audition process and it was like a Zoom interview or a Zoom audition. And I think I did um, two Zoom auditions and then two um, chemistry reads. And it was, it was actually really fast for me. It was like every other day I was hearing from them. Mm. And so I wasn't stressing about it. I mean, I was stressing about it, of course, because I knew what it was. So I had put a lot of weight on it. Mm. Though, bef like I remember right before they told me, it was the day of, and it had been a day and we hadn't heard anything. And my dad was like, mm, do you think we're gonna hear anything? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be today. They're gonna say something to us today. Just don't, don't even say anything. And then, so, <laughs> and then we get an email like, um, hey, could we hop on this call later today? And it was like this really random, like secret meeting. Like um, they put like a cover name on it. And I was like, what even does that mean? Okay, whatever, we'll do that. And so I get on this call and um, I'm like sitting there and immediately I look through the, the Zoom and there's like like 30 people in this meeting and that's odd. That's like, <laughs> that's like the flag right, right away. And then Albert's talking and he's like going on this spiel about like, um, you know, it, it takes a while, these things take a while and we might, you know, have to do some back and forth and, but then he said, he was like, I'm not sure if you know, but this is for Avatar, for Katara. And as soon as he said that, I was like, why is he telling me this? What is happening? What's about to happen? Um, and then, yeah, he told me that I, I landed the role and I just immediately, I started crying into my hands and my parents were bawling their eyes out and it was just a whole like beautiful magic moment that I'll never forget. Yeah, sorry, my that was like, like the whole story. <laughs> my auditioning experience was quite different though. Really? Like you said that yours was really quick. Mine was, I remember I sent in a self tape mm -hmm. and then I got a call back. Then I had another call back. Mm. Yeah. Then I had like three chemistry reads mm -hmm. and then they bring us in. Oh, no, wait, I had three chemistry reads. I read two with chemistry you. Do you reads. Yeah, I remember that. But two chemistry okay. reads, and then, what's it? We didn't hear anything for like four months. Really? And oh, then yeah. we sent out an email Whoa. asking what's going on, and they said, oh, yeah, we're just, uh, we'll see. And then they, uh, what's it? We see they put it back out for Aang. So I'm like, oh, they put it back out. I guess they're not interested mm. anymore. Two months later, they reach out. They're like, can we do another chemistry read? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we can do another chemistry read. I've been waiting. I did not know this. So uh, I get the chemistry read. We do it. I think it was with Dallas. Yep. And uh, what's it? We do the chemistry read. And like all these like auditions were under fake names and stuff, right? Like I was Alan and you were, uh, what was your name again? Juno. 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 Really? That's a cool name. And uh, we did the scene together and I'm talking all sciencey, and there's this one word that I couldn't say. I believe the word was Descartes, but I was saying, Discardies. Discardies. Oh. It was really <laughs> bro really do it tough. off top. <laughs> now I was like I was like <laughs> Discard. But what happened is he corrected me <laughs> during my self came, bro. And right? I was like, oh okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'm really stressed <laughs> out because it's like a hundred line audition and, and it's it like, was after the I had hundred lines. Oh it was after. Oh, okay. So I started like messing <laughs> up all my lines and like saying pardon me a lot because I couldn't hear and it was like all really stressful. 
then a few days later, they call me back in. They say the meeting thing. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, they say, we've searched the whole world for this character, and we found him 15 minutes away from our studio. And mm -hmm. I'm like, huh, who? And they go, what do you mean? And I'm like, me? And they're like, yeah, you. And I'm like, oh! oh! <laughs> and I start, like, I break down in tears. Like, I start, like, mm -hmm. like, dad, dad, dad mom. Dad. And, uh, yeah, it was a really, really long experience, but amazing and worth it. I think. What mm -hmm. about you guys? I think, I, I thought, were you the last one? To, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah that's me, what I me and you, that's, right? That, that's probably why there was, like, this long yeah. gap. Yeah, yeah. Me and Ian were just like, they found these two immediately, yeah. and they're like, oh, sorry, yeah, what were you saying? No, you're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, found, they found these two immediately, but then, like, they just found me and Ian randomly, like, eight months into it. They yeah. just were like, oh, well, we'll take these guys. <laughs> Damn. So, that cute. was not it at all. No. Yeah, I don't think no. so. <laughs> no. um, but... I, uh, yeah, I think I've like exaggerated it in my mind so much. It started at like seven and then I was like, it was nine auditions. And then I think I went and counted it recently because I did an interview and I wanted to make sure. It was like five. <laughs> That's like still a, a lot. It's like though. a normal That amount. is a lot. Yeah, but for something like this, especially because all of our auditions were on Zoom. Yeah. Um, unlike these two guys, I had no idea what I was going out for. But the funny thing is I had actually sat down my manager during COVID and, and been like, I want to just watch the first season of Avatar The Last Airbender with you. Mm. And that was really awesome, actually, because I was just like, yo, check this out. Like, they're going to make this. Isn't that sick? Um, but yeah, I got the audition for a codenamed project and didn't really think anything of it because honestly the description for Sokka was like, it was like Sam and it was not really like, it didn't really like encapsulate, it wasn't like screaming Sokka. Yeah. It was more about the sister in the character description. Oh. It was like the the sister who is learning her powers to protect the globe and his brother that's like protecting her and is sarcastic or something like that and i was like all right <laughs> and you're like, saying it didn't scream it didn't yeah i guess but like i i don't know it wasn't like it was just more about the sister so i was like yeah. i guess it's like a i don't know um anyway i did the <laughs> auditions and um we're here now and then <laughs> yeah we both auditioned right yeah i i did over <clears throat> zoom mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I was in the UK at the time. I was working on a show set in an investment bank. And, and this script originally came to me in the form of uh, a scene that took place in an investment oh, bank. Oh, wow. So I was like, oh, I, I think that's why I'm being asked to audition. Mm. Had no idea it was for Avatar. Um, and yeah, because of the time difference, I, I vaguely remember the audition was like really late <laughs> for, yeah. for me. Um, I guess they were in LA. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know what it was for. And I, I hadn't watched Avatar beforehand. Um, yeah, so that, that was what it was for me. Yeah, I, def I also got uh, a fake storyline of like a basketball team. My dad's like this incredible basketball <laughs> team coach. And I'm trying to get like, trying to like get on the team or something. Yeah, yeah, very funny in retrospect. Yeah, I had to, you know, Daniel didn't, but I, I actually had to. Uh, and it was an interesting process just because I didn't know what I was auditioning for initially. Uh, they had disguised it. Uh, and it was uh, for a movie, it was a basketball movie initially, I thought it was, called Blue Dawn. And uh, it wasn't until I got a call back about a month later that, uh, you know, casting let me know, actually the, the character you're reading for, his name is Iroh, not Howard. And that's when the other penny dropped and I thought, oh my God, I'm auditioning for Avatar. And immediately I got super nervous because I really wanted it. Uh, and so that was a, it was a very, very fraught process for me. I was overjoyed when I when I finally got the part, and uh, yeah, no, it's just like I can't. It, it's just like so many. I feel like Cinderella at the ball. Uh, such an experience, and now here we are. We are days away from the premiere, and I can I I couldn't be more excited to share this show with the rest of the world. Just because the main cast, the those young actors, oh, they they just they just crush it, and, and I'm excited to see the world. 
um, discover them in a way. It's amazing.